when it comes to biology, when it comes to sociology or psychology, when it comes to the emergence of higher levels out of the simple microscopic world, that methodology doesn't always work anymore. If you say, imagine a person and forget about all their interactions with other people. Well, you know, okay, you can try to do that, but it turns out that those interactions with other people are actually crucially important. When it comes to the macroscopic world around us, the world that we see every day, the complications really matter, but we know that it has to be compatible somehow with the simplicity of the microscopic world. So you can tell those two stories independently. You can just be a psychologist or be a biologist and that's fine. Or you could be a physicist and that's also fine. What I'm interested in is reconciling the different layers of reality explaining how they can be consistent with each other. It's one thing to say you have biological evolution and that leads to the complicated ecosystem with different kinds of species and different niches. How about why is that compatible with the laws of physics? How does that arise out of the evolution of the universe? It clearly must be. And in somehow tying them together, maybe we will learn something interesting about both.